good morning you are getting ready with the D princess 28 <laughs> i figure if i don't let you guys watch me get ready and, and come at you with this video you ain't gonna see me in a in a minute because i haven't been i've just been so swamped i haven't been able to hardly do nothing for myself let alone record videos so i just wanted to check in with everybody hi 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 everybody all my subscribers old subscribers new subscribers um you know we're doing this take back your hair challenge and i'm so glad a lot of you decided to uh join me in, join me on this in this challenge Ugh, i cannot talk this morning yes i'm so happy you guys decided to join me in this challenge so i just wanted to come at you today and just check in with you guys and let you know what i've been doing i did one check in on my blog already if you want to see that the link is in the info box um just so you see how i kicked off the challenge for myself and i do hope those of you who watched the video actually went to the uh rules because a lot of you are asking questions on that video and i've already you know i di directed you guys to the rules because the rules haven't changed it's the same rules that applied two years ago and i really hope you guys um, checked it out because you know i think the video that i did was a little misleading was misleading in the fact that I said this is a time to rock your natural curls because it's not just for the natural hair ladies it's also for those of you who are relaxed it's a healthy hair challenge so I apologize if you know my relaxed subscribers thought it was just for natural hair it's not so anyway um you know uh, some of you have asked me like what uh style should you be rocking throughout the challenge and you know I'm not by any means like the style queen when it comes to hair I'm very uh, low maintenance, especially now that um, you know I have my ever since I have my baby, I'm all about comfort, quick, and I've always been about quick hairstyles. Anyway, I don't like to spend a lot of time on my hair in the morning, and so I've really just been rocking my natural curls. I did a braid out um, with a new product that I was experimenting with. I didn't really like the product too much, so if you want to know more about that, um, I'll be you know talking about that on my blog. Uh, probably, hopefully, I'll get that up by the end of next week so you'll see what product that was but um yeah i just so far for the challenge i've just been rocking my natural curls a braid out and i'm gonna try to switch it up and do something else i want to get a ponytail or something you know i said no weaves or anything like that because i don't think i mean the challenge is to take care of your hair and not do anything that's going to place a lot of stress on your hair or scalp but if you want to do something like a phony pony or a wig something that you can take off at night that's fine you know so don't think that you just have to like wear uh, an afro or twa or whatever you can definitely do that but the the purpose is to make sure that you are not neglecting your hair and if your hair is braided up or weaved up then obviously you can't really do anything with your with your hair you know so i've been working out i'm in on my grind i'm really trying to lose the rest of this baby weight um i haven't forgotten about uh the q a videos you know a lot of you the actually the second most frequently asked question um after the relationship uh, questions was uh, oh, there goes the baby crying now was pregnancy and so I'm I am d definitely gonna get to that video but um oh, it was pregnancy and baby weight sorry and I am gonna get to that um, but you know I'm I'm living my life and I'm trying to lose the baby weight so what am I gonna vlog about like hey everybody this is me trying to lose the weight no I'm gonna wait till I lost the weight you know then I'll tell you what I did because <laughs> I don't wanna <laughs> you know I just want to wait till I am successful at it before I start talking about it so um anyway today uh this hair also i wash my hair usually thursdays and friday or fridays are my wash day so my hair was washed i can't remember if it was thursday or friday and um i've been working out like i said i've been really on my grind trying to lose this baby weight and so i haven't really been doing a lot of co-washes but i have been doing rinses like i woke up this morning my hair was looking a hot mess um and no amount of the spray bottle was going to get my curls back in check like this so when i got in the shower i just rinsed my hair and then i just lightly massaged my scalp to get all the sweat and whatever you know goo product buildup whatever you want to call it was on it so i'm i still have some residual product in my hair um you know i like i said i didn't wash it i just let it get wet so uh, and you know a lot of you asked me what styles uh you should be wearing i like i said i'm going to show you what I do um, I'm taking some of this uh, super grow extra light brown and bros you know you guys have seen this in my videos before I've been um, I don't put this in my hair anymore but I always put it along my edges if I don't do nothing else I put this along my edges at night in the morning um, I haven't been using uh, any gels or anything uh, because I've been having some issues with my edges so I'm just really pampering them and babying them and I'll talk about that more later but um yeah so 
that's what I'm doing today and uh, I'm just gonna show you one of my favorite uh, everyday quick hairstyles there's nothing to it you know use whatever whatever product you wish to use to get your curls set yeah all I'm doing is uh you know making sure my curls are moisturized and this is what I this is like I said this is my go-to everyday style and because I've been having like some issues with my edges I'm not slicking them down with gel or anything like that I'm just gonna lightly brush them smooth them out taking a scrunchie Sure. Wet this a little bit more. And I didn't, I didn't break through my hair with a comb or anything. Like I said, I just lightly massage the scalp. I pile it on top of my head like this. Take the band around once, and the second time I don't pull the hair all the way through, and I just bring some tendrils around. It's just a, a loose, sloppy bun. And it, I just spread it out, spread it out, and then if I feel like the curls, you know, I like these little tendrils to be defined, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, put a little product on them so they have some staying power. And that's it. This is a quick, uh, I don't even know if you call it a five-minute hairstyle, like a 30-second hairstyle. And that's it. And then, um, you know, I'm going to do my makeup, put on my earrings, and let it do what it do. I just want to show you a quick, quick, quick makeup look, everyday makeup look that you can do that I, I love. Um, you can take any pink color. I like pinks. This is just soft. It's something just to, just to have a little bit of color on your eyes. This is a Mika Bella powder. It's an eyeshadow shimmer powder, and the color is called Earth, but it's really a, a light, shimmery pink. And I'm just going to place that. Uh, all over the lid uh, like a so actually you know what is good aside from the uh, what is it LA colors palettes you, these NYC palettes are also good I mean for beginner this palette is a uh, Metro Quartet eyeshadow by oh, what is this or maybe it's 8 817a South Street Seaport I guess that's the name I don't know but anyway it has um, basically some neutral colors like there's a pink you could have used that pink in there just any pink will do um, and then this brown right here this dark brown what I'm gonna do is uh, put that in the outer V and the cool thing about these palettes and also Maybelline has some great palettes for beginners is that this actually they actually tell you where to put the colors like it'll say put this in the crease put this in the outer V put this in the, in the highlight and stuff like that so this is really my go-to everyday makeup look. Um, I always like to just have some, like brown and pinks work really well for me. So that's what I do. I do that for the um, outer V. So then this lighter brown color that's in this palette, I'm going to take that and put that in the crease. And this is, uh, I mean, I've replicated this everyday look with a lot of different palettes, a lot of different colors, but the basis of it is always like, pinks and browns and then for the highlight I'm just gonna take that light light color in the palette and place that color right under the brow bone okay so then I'm just gonna blend it out and then I'm going to uh, put on eyeliner and mascara and then I will post pictures you know I'm just gonna finish my face like I normally do anyway I'll see y'all later good luck with the challenge mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah! peace Yeah.